Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech, got another video for you. Now, this is the Spectra ARGB SE kit from BitPhoenix. Now, if I adjust my camera, as you can see, I've already pre-installed them into my test bench. This is just to give, give you a virtualization to show you what it looks like if you had it on your system. Now, big thank you for BitPhoenix for sending it out. Do appreciate it. Hoping to grab more stuff off them because Welshie Tech has been very busy the last six months getting stuff off people. So I hope to continue doing this. And if you guys enjoy my content, please do give it a subscribe and please do give it a like on the videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, also have a look at my Discord. I just created that with help from someone who is a fan as well. So yeah, right. So let's get into the into the initial thoughts now my initial thought is there's right there's, there's some cons there's there's some pros now the pros are they have AGB I love ARGB because I am the ARGB king I love my ARGB fans I always will always have I love the fact that you can control them and you can set them any color you want so the haters out there it I don't care what argument you've got to say or it goes you can control them and you can set them to any color you want you can even turn them off if you wanted to so stop moaning about rgb right that's my little rant over now if you've watched any of my pre previous videos you would know that i've done thermal right uh thermal right rgb fans i've done etsy i've done up here i've done antec i've done be quiet and all every initial video is there's one video i did not have a good experience with that was etsy i haven't had the same experience with these these are very nice looking argb fans now the pros they have a argb they're cheap and they look nice when they're lit up the cons is no four pin P pwm they don't come in a high speed or a low speed version. And three is they're not bright enough for me. They are the only cons I have got about these is the, it's those three topics. They are the only ones that I initially care about. But this is something for you guys to exact to think about when you t want to buy RGB fans. Now, do you need high speed fans? Do you want low speed? Do you want silent or optimized fans you need to think about this type of stuff i understand the fans are just easy to buy and stick them in but if it's a pack a fan pack that you're going to have for a while just remember that initially after so many months they do start to degrade over time uh, especially if they're a hydraulic bearing they will start degrading and you might start getting a clicking sound like i had with the etsy fans so would i recommend these i think for the price they're a bargain for £20. Now, yes, there's a lot of different competition on Amazon, but there's also a lot of different options. I mean, you've got the white and the black version of these. I I would have liked the white because my system is white, so I would have initially liked white because I like white case fans. Now, the Be Quiet fans ain't, ain't white, but... That doesn't matter. I'm a bit of a Be Quiet fanboy, so that doesn't matter. But Bitfenix have got more products coming out. They've got new a a ARGB fans coming out, which I hope they do put on a 4-pin PWM. Please, Bitfenix, because in this day and age, in 2022, that should be just a standard connector for anyone. That should be. I don't care what brand it is. If you make an ARGB kit, you need to have 4-pin ARGB, 4-pin uh, PWM, sorry, because you can take it and you can sw switch, switch them over if you upgrade. That's the best thing about PWM, is you need it. If you've got it, you can utilize it. If you haven't got it, then you're stuck. If the controller is a 6-pin and the fan's a 6-pin, if the controller dies, if you you're stuck the fans are useless so with four pin now i understand with three pin but you need four pin to be able to control the fans yeah you can control control them with the remote but it gets annoying 
because it doesn't state on the in, in their included controller for speed. I had to find that out myself. That was one thing I did not initially like about this kit is the controller. You don't need the remote. You don't need it. If it's three, if it's ARGB as well as four pin PWM, just connect it to your motherboard and daisy chain the fans together. Then you can control it on the motherboard itself. Now this isn't a bad video about these fans. I am recommending them due to the fact that they're a good initial price. £20 UK. For the price they're good. But when they bring out their new fans I think they need 4 pin PWM. That will jump them up to a bigger category. Now you've got the, the most expensive fans. Now you've got the Be Quiet fans. You've got Thermaltake fans. They are all 4 pin PWM as well as 3 pin ARGB. You can either use the included controller or you can put it on, you can just connect it to your motherboard and initially control it from there. That's where this is lacking. Yeah, you can control the ARGB, but with only 3 pin, they only go to a certain RPM. Now, I hope they bring out a um, fast, like a uh, like a high airflow version of their fans because I know they've got stuff coming out. They've got new cases, power supplies, AIOs, new case fans. There's loads of stuff. And I've told them that after this video, if they'd send me them so I can have an initial look, look because I should know myself when it comes to ARGB fans now and AIOs. I've tested them. I've done videos on them. I should know now. And I'm a fan of static colours, but that's the best thing about ARGB. You're going to set it to whatever colour you want. So, do I think these are worth it? Yeah, for, for the price, yes. But Bitphoenix, you need to have 4-pin PWM. I hope you don't take this as a criticism. Take it as me giving you my feedback on the fans. Now, for the price, I understand, obviously, you need a... You know, there's a certain budget you've got to take. But I don't think you should. At the end of the day, if you want, if you want your customers to buy something, you want them to keep hold of them. If they last long and they've got the features that modern ones have now, then they can take them on to their new build. Exactly what I'm doing with my Lightning fans. They've got 4-pin and they're separate ARGB. That is what I want. And I think people who don't know about ARGB fans would pick a, um, a brand like um, Gim, for instance, or Etsy that do 6-pin this horrible six pin connector now that's one thing i will say about bit phoenix i'm glad they didn't go down that route because that connector is let's just say it's bad to work with especially if the controller dies so yeah if you want to buy these pack i will leave the link in the description i do recommend them they're quiet the argb is very nice um very nice Comes with a three pack. I initially would say go for the white because the white would look nicer. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, the control uh, included controller. It's it's uh, they that what that's what I find funny is on the included controller. It takes four pin PWM. So I mean you know, <laughs> I mean it, unless they do a four pin version, I don't know, but. That's just me giving you a bit of a advice. So yeah, if you want to buy a pack of ARGB fans on uh, Amazon, I'll leave you the link down below. Go check out BitPhoenix's website. I will leave it down below as well. And I'm looking forward to what else they got coming out. So this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da. Boom.